Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. The one book I recommend you read is this book right here, which is The Emotional Survival for Law Enforcement. If you are in law enforcement, you need to read this book. If you are a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife, or husband of somebody who's in the law enforcement world or the corrections world, you need to read this book. It's 142 pages of insightful and valuable information. This specific book right here was mandatory reading for our academy class. Our training officer was very adamant about us reading this book and every week we had to read a chapter i mean there's only like eight chapters in here and then we had to write a little blurb a little i guess one page pair like one page paper if you will about the chapter that we read and what our takeaways were from that chapter so if you've ever wondered what life is like for law enforcement officers what a cop's family goes through on a day-to-day -day basis and this book is the book for you so emotional survival provides an outline of the stresses and difficulties that law enforcement officers face on a day-to-day -day basis given the intensity and demanding nature of this profession it details how a law enforcement officer goes from a very optimistic rookie to um, a very cynical veteran. So you might be thinking, who the F is Dr. Gil Martin? Well, Dr. Gil Martin is a clinical psychologist with over 20 years experience as a deputy sheriff. Dr. Gil Martin's book outlines the emotional and physical tolls and stressors that law enforcement takes on us, the police officers, our families, and our friends in our lives. So the transition from idealistic rookie to very cynical veteran happens in a very short period of time. That includes withdrawing from friendships and activities outside of law enforcement and a breakdown in marital relationships, which I've witnessed amongst my own coworkers in this short period of time. So this book right here discusses the long-term impact and effects a career in law enforcement has on an individual. So a huge topic of this book right here is hypervigilance. And Dr. Go Martin spends a few chapters talking about hypervigilance, the roller coaster of hypervigilance, the effects of hypervigilance. And you're wondering, what the heck is hypervigilance? Hypervigilance, how many times did I say this, is viewing the world from a threat base perspective. That way that means that you're constantly on high alert, waiting for something to happen. Dr. Gil Martin discusses in the book how the hypervigilant, active, alert, and energetic on-duty officer can become tired, lethargic, detached, and isolated off-duty, and the issues that can arise from that. So this book, Emotional Survival for Law Enforcement, does not only talk about the changes a person experiences throughout a career in law enforcement, it also details how to become an emotional survivor. It lists the problems and it lists solutions, um, or should I say, it gives you points on how to better yourself in this career and not to fall victim to the statistics. You can become an emotional survival by doing the following things. There's four or five key pieces that I'm going to highlight from this book. The first one is to take control of your personal life and that includes time management and planning activities. Plan to do these activities and then stick to them. Another one is to practice physical fitness. 20 to 30 minutes a day, five to seven days a week, will do wonders as far as trying to regulate that roller coaster of hypervigilance according to Dr. Gil Martin. Now as you guys know or don't know, physical fitness used to be a huge part of my life. I used to be one of those people that loved working out. I would have an hour break from lunch, the gym was five minutes away from where I worked, I would run to the, not run, but literally go to the gym during my lunch hour. That's how much I loved working out. I didn't mind waking up at 6 a.m. in the morning to work out before work or like running after work. Those were the things that I enjoyed doing. Even throughout the academy, I enjoyed working out. It wasn't until I, be, I got on night shift that physical fitness kind of took a back seat to everything. And I'm now realizing how detrimental that is to my physical health, my mental health, and my spiritual in a sense. Physical fitness is one thing that will greatly help you survive a career in law enforcement. It keeps you mentally sharp, physically sharp, all the above. Another key point that Dr. Gil Martin mentions in this book is to embrace roles other than being a cop. I work as a police officer. I'm not a police officer. Like my identity is not wrapped up in me being a police officer. Don't become a used to be, as Dr. Gil Martin mentions in his book, 
which I too have fallen victim to it. I used to be a photographer. There, I used to find joy in taking photographs. I used to like reading and running and I now don't make time for those things. And that's something that I, almost two years into this profession, because the academy and then in July, it'll be two years since I started this career. I'm realizing a lot of the <laughs> issues mentioned by Dr. Gil Martin in this book. One of the things is to prioritize interests and hobbies outside of police work. And then another major tidbit that he does mention and that I agree wholeheartedly with is to have friends outside of police work. Stay friends and make friends with people who are not your coworkers because when I'm off of work, I don't wanna be reminded about work. There you go. That's pretty much just an overview, a general overview of this book right here that I highly, highly, highly recommend everybody read. If you're in law enforcement, corrections, if you are a family member who knows somebody in law enforcement, read this book. Have you read this book? And if so, what has been your takeaway from this book? And thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Stay awesome. Bye.